at any given power setting, the carbonization effects or ablation effects are directly proportional to the duration of the arc at any given point. To illustrate this, we have made two representations of a mole. In this representation, for example, we apply the arc for one second and we see that the carbonization effects are very shallow. In this other figure here, we apply the same power setting for three seconds instead and the carbonization effects are much deeper. And this applies at any given power setting, be it high or low. So, once again, the ablation effects or carbonization effects are proportional to the duration of the arc at any given point. This straightforward but fundamental principle applies to most AC voltaic arcing devices for similar intended purposes. To illustrate this point, once again, we'd like to show you a very interesting clip during which we had applied voltaic arc for different amount of time. Therefore, you'll be able to see the difference in carbonization effects quite clearly. So thank you very much for watching and enjoy the next short clip. First of all, apply very short bursts in different areas as shown here. Stop and look at the effects on the chicken skin. As you will see, the effects on the chicken skin are hardly noticeable. Then move to another area and apply the arc for approximately one second, two seconds, three seconds, six seconds, and finally, 10 seconds. Observe the effects. So, now, as you can see, the longer you keep the arc on, the more the carbonization effects at each spot. So, the longer the arc is applied, the larger and deeper the effects of the voltaic arc. So with this exercise, we have learned how the carbonization or ablation effects are directly dependent on the duration of the exposure to the arc.